y'all welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video i have a few christmas cards that i want to share i did share these on my instagram also under sharing more so these first few cards were inspired by for the love of stamping dot blogspot.com i saw them on pinterest so i will leave a link to her blog down below i pulled out my ek tools christmas tree punch i also pulled out the paper studio holiday cheer paper from last year and then the pink and main jolly six by six i used the sentiment merry christmas from this recollections christmas noel stamp set and i also used the enjoy the holiday from this my creative time this is called chalkboard christmas so here is one of the first ones i did a white card base i rounded the corners of this red and white polka dot background and then i did a white um matte on the front you have this one popped up a little bit i use a little gold star that's from the miss sparkling co pack and then i stamped the merry christmas in red and then draw the holiday in green then i have some clear bling there in the center on the inside i matted it with red and did a polka dot and white tree on the next one this is with the pink and main paper and it's pink um, white and green so it's the same design I stamped the Merry Christmas in green enjoy the holiday in pink I have some pink bling there's a silver star up top then on the inside I matted it with pink I did a plaid tree and then the white tree so for these next two cards I used the 6x6 hot cocoa paper pad and then I used the sentiment may blessings be yours this Christmas and always and this is from the Oh Holy Night paper tray ink stamp so here's the first one. I use a buffalo plaid background on a craft card base. This little scene here was halfway done in the paper pad, so I went ahead and just cut that down. I punched my tree, use a silver star. Here's where I stamped my sentiment. And then that little gem piece there that looks like the star in the sky, I got from a recollections pack from last year. I matted it in white and just used the negative from the front. So here's the second one I created with the same design. On the inside, I just matted that one white as well with the negative from that front panel. My next four cards were inspired by Laquita Jackson. She's a um, Stampin' Up! demonstrator here on YouTube. So I will leave a link to her channel down below. I used the Hot Cocoa 6x6 paper pad again for the next two. I also used this Sizzix Framelit style. This is Stephanie Bernard and it's called Dotted Ovals. And then I used this Sentiment from the My Creative Time chalkboard Christmas so here is how the first one looks these are all a2 cards so this top piece is cut at three by four and a quarter I use some strips that I already had I just cut it down here's where I use the oval and I punched to the trees and I inked everything up this is a bow that I recently hauled from Hobby Lobby here's where I use my sentiment another one of the little gold stars I just matted the inside red because I'm not sure what sentiment I'm going to use on the inside here's the second one and this one I just did a strip of red down the side for these next two cards I use this May May Made It stamp set that I was recently gifted by Sabrina She's the S Factor Studio here on YouTube and it's called Snow Peaking. I also pulled out my EK Tools Snowflake Punch and also um, this two and a quarter scallop punch. The paper that I use is the Pink and Main Jolly again. And here's the card that I created. This is also A2, so it's cut at three by four and a quarter. And here's where I use the scallop. And then I have some vellum. Um, snowflakes behind this foam snowflake and this is one of the Hobby Lobby um, Christmas pieces one of the foam snowflakes I have the vellum with some white paint splatters and I just did double snowflakes then I did the foam snowflake on top and then this crystal gem piece from recollections I did some silver wash in the center here's where I stamped my peaking snowman and I just colored them up with my Copic markers and I stamped thank you so much from the um, stamp set and I didn't finish anything on the inside. Then here's the second one that I created with the same design. And that's all I have to share in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much Laquita for your inspiration. Thank you so much to For the Love of Stamp as well. I will link the blog spot and Laquita Jackson's channel down below. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.